Hello everybody and welcome to my story or my journey as you could say of uh, 360 Vaser liposuction. <laughs> beginning um, I'm gonna try and give you as much detail as possible um, so many people have been asking me questions uh, where did I have it done how much did it cost was it painful um, and I think I'm going to discuss all of that in this video so this is gonna be a tell-all video of my personal experience so let's start off with how we started out let's go back to the beginning um, so, me and my husband um, basically have, for quite a few years now, been on diet after diet after diet after diet. We have tried them all. Um, we really, really struggle um, to, we can like sometimes get the weight off, but then as soon as like any diet, as, as you would imagine, stops, you just put it all back on again. Um, so, it is really, really difficult. Um, also for us, um, I'm not going to lie, we're not great big, um, like gym fanatics. Um, we do really struggle to get momentum, um, and keep going. Like we're like those kind of people, if we don't see results very early, we kind of, we kind of give up if I'm being honest with you. Um, and it, it puts you into like a, a cycle of like depression. Um, some of you might understand this and other, others will be screaming at me right now saying then you need to kick up the bum and you need to work harder and just keep at it. You know, easily said, that, I mean that's all easily said and done but when you're, everybody's different and everybody deals with things in life differently. Um, I'm actually, you know, I'm quite a strong character, um, usually quite level headed um, but then sometimes the oh who cares whatever gets the better of me <laughs> and then I just give up um so we needed a kick we needed like a kick boost if that makes sense so what we decided to do is in August last year we looked up liposuction uh we looked up here in the UK first obviously um we felt a bit more safer to do that um but with going into the UK um having vasolipo um, it was like triple, you know, the money that we spent out in Turkey. Uh, so we did look at it, we did look, you know, we did look it up, we did almost book it, um, you know, just to keep it local and obviously if anything, anything is wrong with COVID and we're not allowed to travel. So we decided in the end um, to check elsewhere, um, you know, just to keep our options open and also check all the different, um, you know, choices that we had. You know, we looked at different hospitals, we looked at different clinics, and we also, of course, and most importantly, we looked at different doctors. So we came across this doctor, uh, Dr. Marak from Turkey. Um, we found him on Instagram, so we've seen a lot of his work, a lot of his stories, um, we've seen a lot of reviews of people from there. So um, that was definitely uh, worth ha having a look at. Um, our friend also had been to Turkey to have um, um, a boob job and uh, she was giving us advice, um, also checking out the hospital, you know, that um, we were heading to go to and it had really good reviews. Um, the doctor had good reviews, so we thought, why not? Let's in investigate this a bit more. So we spoke to him, we had like a consultation over the phone and told him what we wanted and um, what our outcome was and our situation and this is you know the results we kind of want. So um, in the end we went with uh, 360 Vaser Lipo. Now this is a procedure. So this is like a, um, a laser lipo. So basically like the old fashioned way was just to jab you with a stick. <laughs> And that sounds really horrendous, uh, but that is basically what they used to do. My husband actually had that done uh, quite a few years back, you know, 10 years ago or so. Um, and he said it was quite painful when he come around to the wild to get back to himself. Um, he wasn't eating properly and didn't want to ruin the results, but 
that wasn't the right way to go about it. Um, this way is obviously more um, updated, you know, technology wise. Um, this is one when they um, laser the fats, it, laser the fat inside your body, um, break it down as well um, before they start jabbing at you and basically taking away the excess fat cells. So your fat cells that are in um, the areas that we had done, which was chest, um, belly area, flanks, which are your sides, um, and your back. Um, so basically what they do is they kill the fat cells in there um, and basically scrape them all out so you're not left with any fat cells. We also wanted the six pack look so we um, wanted body contouring, which was obviously an added extra. Uh, we both had that as well. From our results, we were really, really happy with how it came out. Um, so anyway, um, I mean, I have a whole journey video that I would like you guys to watch now, um, so you can see exactly what we did um, through the process. Um, but I just wanna say like, so the procedure in the end cost us about 5K each. Um, it might have been a little bit more. Um, everybody is going to have a different price because everyone has different um, areas they might want removed. Um, everyone has, you know, underlining health issues. Um, there's is going to be different prices for everyone. Um, personally, I think if you was just to go and want basic lipo, you know, the Vasa 360 lipo, and you just wanted a flat, flat stomach, it would be cheaper again. Um, obviously within all these prices, um, we had um, our five star hotel, uh, we had transfers from hotel to hospital to hotel and so forth. Um, we also had our own personal assistant who um, would meet us in areas, take us to the places that needed to be ta taken. Um, he would also take us to have like our bloods and our COVIDs done. I need to also translate as well, which was really, really helpful. Um, so that was brilliant. Um, he wasn't like our own personal assistant. He was like the doctor's personal assistant that, um, you know, helped us along the way. Um, but like I said, that's how much it cost. So we had to pay for our flight separately and we went from Heathrow to Turkey and then obviously back down to Cornwall again um, when we came back. Um, Oh yeah, also we have to wear these, I don't know if I can show you right now, um, you'll probably see them in the video anyway, but uh, we've got these um, course, body corsets, one piece corset things that we have to wear for the next four weeks. It helps with the swelling, so um, obviously you don't swell up and make yourself look horrendous. Um, so it keeps all the swelling down and compacts you and keeps you nice and tight and firm for when your results are ready. Um, also, we are going to wear like little, we've got these tiny waist corsets that we're going to wear uh, for the remaining two weeks just to keep it going. If there's any other questions that you'd like to ask, just comment below and I'll get to you. Uh, my advice is um, I'm super, super happy I had this done. Um, I know it's like an, an easy opt out, but sometimes you just need that kickstart to, you know, make yourself feel better so when you do go to the gym or you do go to the swimming pool you don't feel like you know everyone else around you is looking really amazing and you just like I said I just needed that kickstart to give me the confidence um, to go forth with the exercise and then keep keep that up you know you don't need to go on a diet forever you just need to change your lifestyle um, and that is what we are aiming at doing now um, so um, I will give you another update on my journey as this is only two weeks post op at the moment. Um, so please keep watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And like I said, any questions, please comment below and I'll try my best to get back to you.